YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode, I am going to be discussing my glove box, Fire Kid. So stick with me. Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for sticking with me. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now, recently, with the colder weather we've been dealing with because of fall and winter and the changing of the seasons, I've naturally been building some fire kits because down here in San Antonio, that's when we go camping when the weather cools down. So, you know, I don't like to go camping when it's 115 degrees outside. There's just no freaking way. So, I know you guys have seen the video where I did my everyday fire kit and I also showcased the boss kits from uh, Stanford Outdoor Supply and then more recently I did my Micro Altoids Survival Tin but I was recently asked by a lot of viewers well what if you had a kit and you had to basically leave and never come back but you needed a really good fire kit that you could basically depend on for an extended amount of time what would you do and can it still be portable? So this is my answer. Now for transporting a kit that needs to be portable, the, I needed to answer a question and that, can't, that question was, I need to be able to watertight it or make it very water resistant, but still make it portable. As you guys know, my absolute favorite water resistant container is the Plano 3400 series. This thing is just amazing and it's not huge. It's, it, it, just, it just fits. So let's get this weird goofy elephant out of the room because I know some of you guys are like, what is that? Um, this is Magic Punky Dust. Um, it is created and hand sourced by uh, my new friend, Alan Wirtz. And I contacted, that, contacted them due to the Apaka box that I got uh, last month. And I saw this Magic Punky Dust. I did their Nomad Fire Starting Challenge. If you guys haven't watched that, I'm gonna put a link down in the description box below. And I basically had to start a fire with a solar lens. And that was a very cool challenge for me. So I was like, yay! So I contacted him and he sent me the uh, sent me three of them. To, uh, two of them are actually gonna be in my 25,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, and uh, these two are my Punky Dust uh, pieces of kit that I put in there. Now, why did I take them? Why are they not in the kit? Well, they're plastic and round, and they're really portable. They're nice and small, but they were um, a very hard shape. I couldn't mold them, so I had to uh, do a small mod to get this really nice, very dried out, fine punky wood into the kit. So, like I said, this is the Plano 3400 series uh, watertight kit, and that is pretty much the contents of my kit. This is my medium to long term kit that I have decided to build if I basically can't ever come back home. So it's you know, rule of law, end of the world, whatever, I mean, how crazy ever you wanna make this scenario, this is my scenario building kit. This is what I would build. So first up, this is the firesteel.com's Armageddon. This is the 4.0 with the striker and a nice big paracord lanyard. Um, I love firesteel.com's fire steels. Their fire steel rods are just amazing. They have a good blend of magnesium to iron content. They're not too hard, but they're not too soft. They throw a buttload of sparks, which I will be showing throughout this video. You'll see some demonstrations of me using the kit in various ways, but um, I, I love this. I love this fire steel a lot. Uh, next up is this other fire steel. So I, I included two big fire steels. And um, this one actually came from the Boss Fire Kit that I got from Stanford Outdoor Supply. This one also throws a really ridiculous amount of sparks. I like the fact that both of these are long and slender, but they have a substantial size rod on them. So if I need them for extended use, I've got that covered. Next is this little beauty. This is the, well, that's upside down. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to read that that way. The Baddest Bees Fire Fuses. Now, as you can see, I actually have cut them in half. You get 20 in this kit, and I'm gonna put some Amazon links to all this stuff down in the description box below, so you guys can support our channel, and you guys can get some really cool gear that I highly recommend. But I decided to cut them in half, so I have 40 really, really reliable fire starters right here. So, I mean, it's in a super, super small package. 
Next, you can opt to go smaller, but I decided to use this as a dual use um, pencil sharpener. This is a like a carpenter's one or a woodworker's one that you would find at like Lowe's. And if I needed to create like a fishing spear, uh, this one is big enough. As you can see, it's big enough for my finger. So if I were to create a stick that's about three to four times bigger than this and created like a, a fishing spear prong, I can use this to sharpen it up, those spears up, but I can also use this to process, um, sorry, butterfingers. I can use this to process uh, wood shavings. And like I said, I'm gonna be showing the different uses of me doing all of this stuff. But um, it's just useful so I can do more than just fire starting with this piece of kit. And it's a really, really like, durable plastic this is something I would uh, enjoy and it's not very heavy alrighty now I know you guys saw this in my Altoids um, micro Altoids survival kit video this is like 50 50 yeah 50 celluloid guitar picks look how small that is it is so small that is a crazy amount of fire starters these things light in almost every condition you can light them with a ferro rod a lighter um, as long as you process them correctly with a lighter, you don't have to. But yeah, that's 50. So 40 and 50, 90 fire starters right here in this super, super Two. small package. Uh, mini big lighters. I stayed away from red and white because everyone's freaking out on me. <laughs> and the cool thing is um, there's a survival hack video coming up. But even if these are actually uh, run out of fuel, there is a cool trick that you can learn um, to actually still be able to light a fire with these even when the fuel is gone. Uh, not just using the spark wheel, but there's another additional trick and that's gonna be in a future video. Once that video releases, I'm definitely gonna drop that in this video content, but it may be at a later date, so I appreciate your guys' patience on that. This is a magnifying lens, oh yeah. And this is the one I got from a pocket box. This is an actual glass lens, which is why it has this cover, so it's very scratch resistant. But I actually have started a few fires with this. I, in me being in Texas, let's assume I'm staying in Texas, um, even in an emergency situation, it's sunny like all the time here. So being able to start a fire in this aspect, I, it keeps me from having to waste all those other fuel sources if I don't have to. Next, now these are the punky dust. Um, I decided to put them in some really small bags. As you can see, I was able to basically lay them like this and make them nice and flat. So I was able to take these two, a container that's normally like this, and make it like that. Because for this case, I needed them to be flat. And they're movable, it's dust. Now this punky dust is amazing, it works really, really well. I highly recommend um, you guys checking this out. Um, it chars up, it starts smoking really fast, whether you're using a fire steel, using a lighter, or a magnifying lens, this stuff will work and you don't need a lot. This fits just perfectly. Get my micro everyday fire kit. This is my new fire kit that I carry with me all the time. Now, I'm actually going to be building a second kit. I have another Altoids 10, which is right here. But right now it has mints in it. So I'm waiting to use this. And once this is empty, I am going to be building a secondary kit that is going to be in there. And so I'm gonna have two identical kits. And what I'm probably gonna do is buy a couple more of these so I can rebuild this kit consistently. And I'm gonna link the video of how I made this kit and the challenge that I gave to all my viewers and other YouTubers about this kit. For a medium to long-term fire kit, tell me your thoughts. What do you think about this kit? I personally think it's pretty solid. I think it's solidly well-rounded. I've got, you know, idiot-proof fire starting. I've got really good fire steels I like. I have an ability to um, process wood down to fine shavings if a knife breaks or I don't have one right away. Um, or all I have is a pocket knife, so I need to be very sparing with it. Um, not including this, I also have like 90 fire starting pieces of tinder that will light just like no one's freaking business. But this kit right here has over 50 different um, fire starting applications on its own as well. The Ranger Bands will start a fire, the seven or eight um, guitar picks that I have now placed in here. Uh, which is an update to the video that you guys will probably be watching after you watch this one because this is a must-watch video. You guys are going to love it. The reason I love it so much is it fits in the pocket just amazingly well. But, um, I mean, that pretty much does it. I mean, this is my kit. I decided to put it in a watertight container. I have basically solar fire starting, a fire steel, 
um, this, there's a spark wheel in here. I mean, you guys will see all the different types of fire starting in this kit as well. There's just seven or eight different ways to start a fire. And there's like dozens upon dozens upon dozens upon dozens of different fire tenders that I have accessed in this very small kit. So I'd be very interested in you guys. And if anyone builds a glove box fire kit, or you could even call it a medium to long term fire kit, please definitely make a video um, to or drop down in the comments to tell me what you decided to put in yours or what you have in your kit, whether you like this one or not. But uh, that definitely does it for now. Definitely though, a big thumbs up to this video if this is the kind of content and kind of kit building you want me to keep doing for you guys. And definitely drop down on the um, description box below and check out all the Amazon links that I'm gonna be dropping for you guys. Uh, that definitely helps support the channel in a ferociously major way. I have just recently been able to acquire um, a UK Amazon account for my um, overseas um, UK viewers. A lot of you guys were asking me to drop in UK links, um, so that is now a thing that I can do for you guys. So you'll see those as well. They'll be uh, US and UK, you know, all separated out. But that just about does it for now. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out. <laughs>